everyone, it's Mars and welcome back to part two of Erasing Weather, where we use pencil shavings and our erasers to make different weather scenes. If you haven't checked out part one yet, I would recommend going back there and just looking at the different tools we're going to be using, as well as some specialty art supplies you can look into. Um, and I kind of go in depth about how to set up this technique. In that video, we do a cloudy sky as well as a rainy window. And today in part two, we're going to be doing a hurricane and a tornado. For the hurricane drawing, the first thing you want to do is follow the techniques from part one to create a gray toned background. And if you want to, you can already start making the spiraling shape with that background tone. Next, you're going to start erasing a curved spiraling shape out from the center of your drawing. I'm using an electric eraser here because I just needed to save time. Um, this is a really fun tool if you like graphite drawing. I would really highly recommend you purchase one. Um, they're not very expensive and they're really fun to use. So I can leave a link for that in the comments. But this was not necessary, I just wanted to save some time. This is when I realized it would be helpful to look up some aerial photographs of hurricanes. So feel free to do that while you're drawing this and take inspiration from a bunch of different photographs. I've talked about line quality before with pens and pencils, but you can also think about line quality when you're using an eraser. So make sure not all of your lines are just straight and smooth continuous lines coming out from the center. You also want to have some sort of scribbled and wobbly lines that look like different cloud shapes as well. Now you can use a pencil to add some contrast to the drawing by darkening the eye of the storm and then also making some dark lines coming out from the center. From that point on, it's just repeating those three different things of making those straight lines with the eraser coming out, those bumbly looking lines, adding some with the pencil, and then layering and layering and layering. Sometimes this means erasing spots you've already drawn on, and sometimes this means drawing over spots you've already erased. Remember to use your Q-tip as a blending tool in different areas and just keep adding those layers until it starts to look kind of like a hurricane. The tornado can be broken down into five steps for the cone. The first step is to erase the left side of the cone from the top to the bottom in a curved shape, but instead of drawing the line from the top to the bottom, you're really just drawing horizontal lines back and forth all the way down the cone. For step two, do the same thing for the middle of the cone, but you actually want to leave a little bit of the gray showing through. You don't want to make it all the way white. You want this to be your mid-tone. On the right side of the tornado, you want to add more graphite powder to make that the shadowed or the dark side of the cone. And if it's not getting dark enough, you can use pencil to make it even darker. Finally, add just a little bit of a white glow on that side by erasing just a very very skinny portion right up here on the top. And that's it for your tornado. It's just making a gradient from light to dark and using those horizontal curved lines rather than using up and down or vertical lines. If you want to see the lines going back and forth, that's great. Uh, that makes sense for a tornado. And if you want it to look a little smoother, you can do that by just going up and down over the whole tornado with your tissue. For the background, I sketched in the trees, and then I used the tissue to blend that out. Then I erased the tops of the trees just to add a highlight, and then I went even darker from the bottom to add a shadow. To add even more contrast, I went over the trees again with a sharpie marker, and then the tape peel, the best, most satisfying part. <laughs> So I hope you really enjoyed this hurricane and tornado tutorial, and I can't wait to see what you guys make. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you next time. Happy creating!